In this video, we're going to look at the get versus post methods in form submission. Now here I have a form and I'm just going to open up the HTML and the form action is set to go to a form processor that I have on my web server. Now the form processor just displays the name and value pairs that was submitted from the form. So if I go back and I put in some test information, fill out a few of the fields, and then submit the form, this form processor gets the data and displays the name and value pairs. Now I have a separate tutorial on what's going on with setting up the form and, and getting these fields and name and value pairs set up. But what we're looking at in this is how the information is getting to the form. You can see that this is the processing script that's getting it and it's separated with a question mark. And then we have the name and value pairs from the form information that was submitted. And you can see how they're displayed here. Now when the data is appended to the URL line like this at the top, it's using the method equals get by default. And what does that mean? In our HTML form, we don't have a method specified. This is how the data should be sent to the form processor that's in the action. So if I say method equals get, this is the default. This is what it's doing without me specifying to use it. So it's appending these name and value pairs on the URL line. So if I save this and I go back to my page, and I'll put in some different information in here and submit it, you can see it's still sending the name and value pairs at the top. This may be good, it may not be good, it depends. Uh, if you have sensitive information up here, like a password or social security number or other personal types of information, first of all, it's on display for the user and anybody else who might be looking over their shoulder. So this is not encrypting any information and uh, it's not going to hide any information. So even if we had a password field in here and we submitted this information, it's not going to hide it. Actually, let me go back here and we'll say, instead of phone number, we'll say, um, we'll say pass. Instead of text, we'll say this is password, right? So I'll save that and I go back here to my form. So it looks like it's being encoded, it's you know not being displayed on the screen. But again, when I send the form, here sure enough is the password information. So it's not hidden from view. So this is using the get method. When we say get, it's going to pass the name and value pairs up here. And also if we have a text area where we have a lot of data that could be sent, somebody could be putting in their entire resume here. There are limitations in the amount of data that can be sent on the URL line. And when it gets past that, it truncates it. It just cuts it off. Doesn't give the user or anyone any error messages. So you might be getting incomplete data and information back from your form. The maximum number of characters that you can append up here, it varies depending on the browser. I've seen them from 1,024 characters to 2,048 characters. So if you have anything that has any significant amount of characters, to be safe, you may want to just make sure that you use the post method. So another alternative instead of method equals get is method equals post. So what happens when we change our method here to post? If I save this, and I'll go back to my browser, and I'm gonna refresh it. And this time I'll send some information, check off, and, and send form. You can see this time on the URL line, it did not append it with the name and value pairs from the form. So this time the information is hidden from view. However, data is not 
encrypted here. It, all it does, it's sending it with a separate header file. It's not attaching it in the URL line. So this is not encrypting data. So don't get a false sense of security that that information is, um, is secure. So what are some reasons to use GET versus POST? This is a little chart that has some of the basic reasons or differences between GET and POST. So first of all, how the back button res responds. Okay, the back button or resubmitting. If you're using a GET, then the requests are going to be re-executed. If you're using POST, then the browser will say you have to resubmit, it'll give you a warning and say you have to resubmit the data or that you're about to resubmit the data. Uh, for bookmarking, get results can be bookmarked and post cannot. So if it's something that you want users to be able to come back to, then you can you want to use get. For hacking, since the information in get is on the URL line, it's much easier for a hacker to be able to see how the data is being submitted and, and inject some code into your into the URL submission and possibly opening up security risks to your server. We don't want to say post is never hacked, but it's not as easily hacked because the user it's harder for them to intercept the post data header file and then um, inject code into that. Cached, get can be cached and post is not. For history, it remains in the browser history if you use get and post does not. And as far as restrictions on form data types, you can only use ASCII characters when you're using a get. So if you remember, it's on that URL line at the top. So the only thing you can put up there is text. For post, you can also upload other data, like other files, images, and zipped files, and things of that nature. Uh, restrictions on form data length, there is a restriction with get, and no restrictions with post. And as far as general security, get is less secure, as we noted, because you can see data and information on the URL line. Uh, post is safer because it's hidden from view. Visibility. Everyone can see it on the URL line, and post is not displayed in the URL. And the large variable values, 2,000 character maximum size for get, and 8 megs max size for the post method, and usability. Remember not to use get if you're sending any type of sensitive information, and instead use the post method. So that's an overview of how form data is submitted using GET and POST.